Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Let's Match Warframe where today we're going to be taking a look at the strangest weapon we've added in a long time. The brand new secondary weapon, the Dual Toxicist. So what's so special about it? Well, with a base damage of 70 with the majority 65 coming in the form of Puncture, 7 each as both Impact and Slash, doesn't put it in the top tier in base damage alone, um, but it is definitely better than average. With a critical chance of just 5% and a 200% multiplier, um, it's definitely not a weapon you would build for crit chance. However, this is where it starts to come into its own. Firstly, it comes with a 35% base status, meaning that 100% status is easily achievable. But the best part of the weapon, it's a mechanic built into it because it causes it to be excited by headshots, literally opening it up, giving it a base fire rate increase, of an extra 1.5, bringing it for one shot to second, um, to two and a half per second, and 100% extra toxin damage. Many thanks to Rob from A Gay Guy Plays for those numbers. Saved me quite a few hours worth of testing with that video. Now the extra toxin damage also does combine with the other elements on the weapon. Um, for example, if you've got radiation and cold damage on the weapon, it will combine with the cold to give you radiation and viral, which is perfect for Grenier. Um, in addition to this, when the headshot proc is active, does not consume any ammo whatsoever, meaning you can fire literally as fast as you can click, giving this a very high, very ammo efficient damage output. Now there can be some downsides to the weapon, um, it's mainly to keep it in check I would imagine. Firstly, base fire rate of just one attack per second, it's comparable to the standard Lex, meaning those initial shots can be a bit painful to land, especially with the massive kick the weapon has. Meaning recoil control from either the player um, or with the use of uh, mods like Steady Hands is absolutely required. Also comes with a very low ammo reserve of just 72. Meaning that if you're not a player that really goes for those headshots um, to take advantage of the, um, the unlimited ammo, then you are likely to run out of ammo very quickly. Um, in addition, the buff does not stack. So you cannot refresh it with constant headshots. So you are always going to consume one ammo to be able to reapply the proc, provided that you hit the headshot. Okay, so let's move on to starting to mod the dual toxicist. Now, in terms of the way we're going to build this, um, we do come with a V and a dash as standard. However, you actually only need to add one format. I added two because I was messing around with builds. You can only you can get away with only adding just an one extra V. Now, in terms of the way we're actually going to mod it. Um, the builds are going to be pretty much the same between the two. Um, we're going to go Hornet Strike for damage, Barrel Diffusion multi-shot, Lethal Torrent for fire rate and multi-shot. Um, we've got Anemic Agility on here, which is going to increase our fire rate up to a base of 2.5. And we've got Steady Hands, which is going to increase our recoil control. It makes landing those headshots so much easier. Um, but personally, the reason why I've got the dash there is, you know, you can... Obviously, it comes with the weapon as standard. However, you can put a 90% in there if you want to. Now, in terms of our elementals, we are going to go with 100% status. So we've got for our Grenier and also for our Corpus build, since, as I've discussed before, personally, Radiation and um, Viral works best for Corpus. So we're going to go with Jolt and Scorch for Radiation. And Frostbite, which is going to combine with the, uh, the innate toxin damage on the weapon, which is going to give us the Viral damage. And obviously this will work in the Corrosive Projection Void as well. And if you're not running Corrosive Projection, um, for some reason <laughs> I've come with Magnetic on this build. However, normally I would go with um, Pistol Pestilence and Jolt for Corrosive Damage and Scorch. Now the Innate Toxin Damage on this weapon is going to combine into the Corrosive. So it's going to really push that Corrosive Damage. And obviously you've got then the corrosive procs on the weapon, which is really going to help absolutely shred the armor of the enemies. So do I think they're worth the time and effort to max? And the answer to this, honestly, yes, I do think they are. I personally really enjoy these things. I'm not going to say that these are one of the top sidearms, because I don't think they are. They are going to fall off faster than crit-based weapons like Lex Prime, uh, Vakor, Merlock. Um, but that's not to say these things are bad. 
They are salty worthy, as you can see in the footage in the background, even if they don't appear pretty, well, they don't appear very impressive in the footage. Um, the salty conditions meant that the enemies were way tankier. Plus, we for some reason, we ended up with all the spawns in the world. So, personally, I was getting a bit flustered by how many enemies were coming at you. And, honestly, that meant my accuracy went to hell, quite frankly. But the thing that makes me love these things, um, stick some fire rate on there to make the initial proc less painful, which then stacks when you've got to the, when you do actually manage to get the proc, um, you can absolutely pump out the damage. And these things feel very similar, honestly, to the Telesac Bolto or the Akjagara. Both the weapons are weapons that I very, very much like. Now, the main thing about these um, is something that I've complained about a bit in the past, which it actually, re you know, it rewards skillful play. To those that don't bother with headshots, they've got to deal with low fire rate, okay damage with no crit, causing them to fall off fairly quick. But for those that know how to shoot, that can hit the head regularly, you can just keep firing for days. You don't have to worry about ammo, spreading masses of status procs around, boosting the damage of the weapon with headshots in the first place, let alone when you take into account the bust for the weapons. This is absolutely fantastic. Promoting skillful play, promoting accuracy in the game, and getting rewarded with performance boosts for doing this. This is the direction the game should be headed. Not ridiculously powerful AoE crit weapons with huge damage that wipes everything out, but rewarding skill. And the dual tox assist is the way forward with this. So a fairly average weapon to begin with until you hit that headshot and it literally transforms into a monster. The dual tox assist is fantastic. Great fun to use. Genuinely feels rewarding. Definitely worth maxing it if you know you can hit the headshots regularly. And especially if you like the Telos Agbolto or the Agjagara. As always guys, many thanks for watching. And I shall see you in the next episode.